Hello, and welcome back to Tales of Arise. Uh, we are in... Did we get this? Is there a name? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I can't pronounce that name. We're, we're in that place. And we got exposition the episode last episode, and hopefully in this one we're moving forward a little. It sounds like we're actually going to Rena finally. And I've already discussed this whole uh, ending issue. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see... We're probably not going to get to it for a few episodes at the very least. Plus, I want to do some side quest stuff, so uh, yeah. I'll discuss it more later, but possibly have to black out the ending if you skipped the last episode. It'll take some time to completely repair your starship. I suggest that you all get some rest in the interim. Yeah. I was, like, out of CP, so... Are we going to be on the viewing deck? Something's going to happen. You still thinking about what the scientists told us? About where Renans really come from? I am, but not for myself. You're worried about the future of the Renan people. The fact that our people have been the same this whole time will only give the Danans further reason to resent us. But you still intend to confront this truth head-on, don't you? Well, I did declare that I would live my life for the living, and not the dead. Even as I dream of retirement, I shall remain dedicated to the cause. I'm sure you'll do great. Now that I think about it, I don't believe I've ever heard you criticize or reproach us Renans even once. Hmm. I'm no saint. I have skeletons in my closet, too. There was definitely a time when I hated Renans for who they were. I hated them just for being Renan. But you changed that, Dohalim. You gave me an opportunity to see them in a different light. Thanks to your reforms, we were able to stand next to Renans not as slaves, but as equals for the first time in our lives. Of course, I'm sure there were some Renans who still hated us on the inside. But we knew that not all of you were like that. There were those of you who were good. And that was a start. When it comes down to it, Renans are just people. They can be good or bad, just like Danans. That is, in essence, the heart of your approach, isn't it? That we're all people. Yeah, it is. When you can pull someone aside and talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, then you have the chance to come to an understanding. Mm. But as soon as you stereotype, that chance goes away, and you stop <laughs> thinking of them as people that you can relate to. I understand what you're saying, but we're talking about massive numbers of Renans and Danans alike. Realistically speaking, surely they won't all be able to get along. Even if we end up butting heads with one person, maybe we'll find better luck among their friends. If we can build a society that works like that, That'll be something worth nurturing and protecting. So you wish for people to form real bonds and do away with the hierarchy outright. To deal with one another as humans and nothing more. That's the ideal future you hope to see when this is all over? Yes, I do. I think it would make for a fine tribute to my brother's legacy. Though, that said, I would be doing it for the people of the future first and foremost. Do you still plan to return to Lenigus when this is over? Indeed I do. I don't know whether I'll be able to reside in Lenigus proper, however. My first order of business may be to find somewhere to live. Mm. You'll always have a home in Menencia, you know. <laughs> As I shall ever keep in mind. Well, if you ever need a helping hand, don't hesitate to come get me. I'll always be there for you, Doe. <laughs> Did you just... <laughs> Never mind. Thank you, Kisara. No. I appreciate your patience as I work all this out. Don't even mention it. And really, when you think about it, now that we know the two of us aren't so different after all, 
Don't you think that brings down a barrier that used to be between us? Huh. You know, I hadn't actually thought of it that way before. <laughs> but I do like the sound of it. Yeah, I think I do too. Okay. It was a good scene. We're going to get a Rinwell Law scene? Of course we are. <laughs> hey, why'd you call me here? Was there something you wanted to talk about? Well, if everything we've heard about the Great Spirit is true, then we're getting close to our final battle. Do so it. I wanted to apologize while I can. Oh. Apologize? For what? I was being real stupid before, about whether Dana's will had been controlling us and all that. I get why you're angry now. Anybody would be if something they trusted was being questioned. So, I'm sorry, Runwell. Really. I should have kept my mouth shut. No, Law. Honestly, I think you might have been onto something. <laughs> of course you were worried. Who wouldn't be if they found out there might be some invisible force pulling our strings this whole time? But you... You really trust Dana's will, don't you? Is it because you can sense it a lot more than the rest of us? Because you can understand it? Yeah, I think that might be part of it. But I think I also want to believe it's good. Believe? Remember how I used to really resent coming from a family of mages? Yeah, of course. Because you were always on the run and had to live in hiding. When we rescued Zephyr and... and I finally decided to come along with you all, something changed inside me. It was the first time I felt like my powers had any meaning. Even if that meaning was only helping you guys fight. Then, when I felt Dana's will, I was overwhelmed by how vast and warm it was. It made me want to believe my powers were made to connect with it. It made me believe I had a bigger purpose. So that's why you hope it doesn't turn out to be bad. You almost need it to be kind. Yeah. Well, all right. Then I promise I'll lay off bad-mouthing it. You will? There's no way for me to know for sure one way or the other, right? But you trust it, Rinwell, and that's enough for me. So I'll trust it because you do. Uh... Remember what I said about neither planet's great spirit reaching us here? Hmm? Yeah? That's not quite true. I can feel just a little bit of Rena's inside you and everyone else. Uh, you... what? I sensed it when we first got here. It's a really small amount, so it doesn't feel like it has a will of its own. But I think that's how Dana's energy probably is too. So you're saying there's a little bit of Dana's will inside each of us? In a I... way, doesn't that mean we're all Dana's will? What? Well, like you said, unless Dana's energy comes together, it has no will. So if we all have a little bit of Dana's astral energy inside us... Yeah, maybe... Everett 35 might know the answer. But, you know what? I don't need to ask it. My will is my own. I fight for who I want to fight for. That's who I am now. Who I've become. So thanks, Rinwell, for sharing that with me. Ah. Uh. Oh, everyone's getting their moments. To be honest, the only reason I was suspicious of Dana's will... Well, I mean, it mostly was... I feel like you and I had grown apart lately, and I was worried it was because... Huh? Um... Uh, never mind. <clears throat> Nothing. Just forget about it. Huh? Uh, no. What were you saying? Saying? I don't remember Come saying on. anything. Now you won't tell me what you were no, thinking? No, that's not what I'm saying. Then spit it out already. Um... Uh... Mm -hmm. 
Oh, you better say it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think they even need to say it, really. It's pretty clear. Pre pretty clear. I think they both see it. Are you sure you don't oh. want to get some rest? I can't. I've got too much on my mind. Especially knowing how close our last battle is. <laughs> how are you doing, Xion? Same as you. Still trying to absorb everything. Remember when it was so simple? We were only fighting all the lords on Dana? <laughs> all of that feels like a lifetime ago, doesn't it? Ages and ages ago. Everything that's happened since we first met. So many fights, so much chaos, so many wonderful people. Cordano. If I hadn't run into you that day, well, I wouldn't have met all of you. I never would have held the blazing sword or looked for something more. I wouldn't have my memories back. I'd still be a faceless slave, and like as not long dead. Hey, Elfin, I want you to promise me something. Yeah? If we can't find the Renis Alma, there's something I want you to do. Mm -mm. Like Hevrecht 35 said, the only way we can end the Great Spirit for good is to go after both the main body in Renna and the thorns in me. I need you to promise me, Elfin, that if for some reason we can't get the Renis Alma back, You'll use the Blazing Sword to destroy the Great Spirit, and me along with it. Huh? It's true the Blazing Sword may not have the strength of the Renis Alma. But it's taken us this far. It's slain lords and beasts. At the very least, it has to be worth a try. You can't be serious. Have you forgotten everything Listen, that we- the Great Spirit isn't just our problem. It's a threat to our entire world, Renans and Danans alike. We don't know what's going to happen when we face it, but we need to be prepared for anything. We can't second guess ourselves when the time comes. I promise you, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I'm prepared to fight with absolutely everything I've got. But if it comes down to it, I need you to be prepared too. Fine. Okay. But you should know that I'm not going to give up on you, Xion. I'm going to fight this until the very end. I hope you can forgive me for that. Okay, I understand. And I'll forgive you. <sighs> Thank you, Xion. So it's a promise then? Yeah, it's a promise. I'm surprised he actually agreed. Look at that smile. It's rare. I remember how I felt the first time you touched me. Hmm? My thorns made any contact a mistake no one would ever make twice. After they'd seen what could happen, fear would always linger behind their eyes. In my entire life, I never had someone willingly reach out to me. But when you reached out to me and gently took my hand, you didn't react at all. It was so easy for you. I don't have words for the shock I felt in that moment. That's because I couldn't feel pain back then. <laughs> Even once you could, though, you still chose to keep reaching out to me. And when you did, I felt this warmth that I had never known before. But 
still, I hate having to see you suffer through it every time you do. You won't have to worry about that for much longer. You think so? I do, because I... Shiana, I, uh... No. You can tell me once my thorns are gone. <laughs> okay? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Looks like everyone's fully aware of uh, their feelings to some extent. I'm still curious about Kisara and Dohalim, though. I don't know if it's more of a friend thing or... <laughs> Everybody get enough rest? We ready for this? Yeah, we should probably get moving. Agreed. Can't stand around waiting all day. Our task is relatively straightforward. We need only to send down to Rena, defeat the Great Spirit, and restore stability to both worlds. We're just, fighting just for a that. new future for both Dana and Rena. Right. We've come this far. We will save our worlds. That's a promise. Then let's go, everybody. We've got one last wall to tear down. Mm. Repairs on your starship are complete. Everything is in working order. Is that you, Hevrek 35? You can see us from where you are? I can. I can see anywhere within the bounds of Dake Faisal. Sounds like someone's a peeping Tom. Maybe we should give Hevrek 35 a break. It has been stuck in this tiny facility for a very, very long time. I have unlocked all functions on your starship. You can now make use of its warp drive. Ooh. Warp drive? Wait, you mean like what the Red Women used on us? What brought us here? It's possible that the Red Women may have found a way to activate it on the starship. They are Helganquil, after all. Using the warp drive, you should be able to breach Rena's atmosphere without being detected. Wait, should? You'll need to be careful. Due to the force field surrounding Rena, the ship will be unable to go any further than the surface of the planet. Convenient. So, once we reach the shell, it appears we'll have to infiltrate the core by foot. Understood. We gotta go all the way down just... walking? Will all the Helganquil go back to normal once we defeat the Great Spirit? I have a strange feeling we're going to have to fight them before this is all over. The extinction of my people is inevitable at this stage. As such, it would be illogical to risk the success of the mission in a vain attempt to save my kind. Hmm. We understand. Can't that thing lighten up a bit? Everything it says seems to be about what's illogical. Well, come on, Doe. <laughs> Hold up. Did you just... You heard the lady. Get going. I have one last question. What? As Sovereign, your identification number indicates that you are well past your predicted life expectancy. Similarly, the Maiden lacks any identification number, as her function should have been rendered unnecessary. Despite this, the two of you continue to exist. Why? Dana's will. Maybe. We exist because others have entrusted this to us. Over the years, many people have come together and sworn to see this through to the end. You mean it is because of multiple chance interactions? The likelihood of such events is statistically improbable. Why have you two continued to persist under these conditions? It's hard to explain. To be honest, I don't think it's something an observer could understand. Huh. All right, time to get back on the Fall Nights. Dana's will. That's 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 all. That's what it is. Uh, okay. I think we're just good to go. Th that music towards the end just started to ramp up, and I'm like. The voices suddenly got really quiet over them. Ah, uh, maybe not. I don't know. I, uh, I watched back the... I watched back the episode on mobile and desktop, and it's so crazy how different it is. It's, it's not great on desktop.
I do not prefer it. So it seems my uh, my videos are mostly mobile friendly. Yeah, I, th I thought for sure we'd have a cutscene of something bad happening up here and then it'd like hurry us along, but it seems there's really no reason for that viewing deck. Uh, to be shown to us. T to, for us to have access. I don't know, maybe someone will be up there with a side quest. Post game. Take off for Rena. You're not even gonna let me, like, go do stuff, huh? It would appear that our Helganquil host really has fulfilled its end of the bargain. You know what that means. Time to go to Rena. I guess this means we should give that warp drive a spin. How do I restock when I'm on Rena? <laughs> Don't tell me the merchant's gonna show up. Wait. Wait, there's the flower, but where's the other side of the planet? Is it just that much smaller? The flower is huge then. Ooh. It's a lot of water too. So where on the planet did we end up? There's it nothing seems like... here. This weird ocean we're surrounded by just stretches out everywhere. Is this really where the Helganquil come from? I don't sense even a trace of astral energy. This world is dead. Hmm. Then this must be the hollowing. You mean oh. to tell me this whole world, the entire ocean is that stuff and it's covering everything the entire planet this is what the great spirit does after it depleted this planet of every last speck of astral energy it went after dana so arresting this world of doom back in its day rena was probably just as vibrant as dana is but after being robbed of its astral energy for so long, those days are gone and past. This is all that will remain. So the Great Spirit took everything. It stole energy not just from living beings, but the land, the sea, everything. And it bound the Helganquil in servitude until their whole world was nothing but this. And by the looks of it, that's how it remains to this day. A world of death and emptiness. With nothing left here to consume, the Great Spirit turned its sights on Dana, looking for another host. Okay, we're going through a loop now. <laughs> You're saying if we don't stop it, this is what Dana's going to look like? We can be sure that even these few remaining remnants of Ren and life will not be spared in the end. If the oblivion and darkness both Shion and Naori saw comes to pass, Nothing will survive. It looks like we can climb down from there. Let's take a look. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Destroyed remnants, Rena. Man, we almost got a little Kingdom Hearts world intro there. So this is Rena. This is where everything began, yet it's a dead world? I won't let Dana suffer the same fate, ever. Special owls seem to have appeared throughout Dana. Okay, this is uh, just slightly uh, too loud at the moment. Uh, let's right, right about there. Maybe it's not, but the, I'm, I'm going off of what I'm hearing, and uh, from what I hear, it's just a little too loud. You have open fast travel up, and there are more side quests, but I think we're going to proceed forward for a bit. I'm sure this is 
it's not gonna be over here. Of course there's a site. Is it the viewing? Oh, I thought it'd be the viewing platform. We just left there. Yep, yep, okay. Good to know, and I still have plenty of side quests we haven't done yet. Interesting. Just doing a quick, like, loop here and looking around. It all looks the same in every direction, but... It's all hollowing. You know it would be interesting? If this was another Tales world... I don't know if they've given a name to the other Tales... I don't think Bazaria and Zestiria have names. It's... It's just what they consider Earth. Um... Why do we land here instead of near the flower, though? That's my question. Because the flower is, like, through the planet, straight down the beam eh, to the other side. I don't know. A hollowed ocean as far as the eye can see. What do you think would happen if we fell in? What do you mean, what would happen? You'd drown, wouldn't you? Would you? Come to think of it, I don't believe I've heard of someone ever trying. Perhaps you'd like the glory of being the first? No, I'll pass. <laughs> this is essentially a world-sized Renan graveyard. Are you proposing to disturb the dead slumber just to satisfy your curiosity, Law? No, because I said I passed! <laughs> Taking an interest is understandable, but let's not forget where we are. This place deserves our respect. Looks like we're not going to be hearing the end of this one for a while. You think I was already snorkeling in it or something? Jeez. So the idea is to seal the great spirit inside the Renes Alma using the Sovereign and Maiden's power. But just how do we do that exactly? I'm guessing it won't be as easy as holding a spirit channeling ceremony at our leisure. I already had wielded astral energy once three centuries ago. As for suppressing her thorns, Shion's had a lifetime's experience. The problem isn't just our enemy's strength, it's that it's sentient too. And you can bet anything you like, it's not going to just sit back and let us destroy it. In other words, we need to find some way to weaken it in advance. The Great Spirit, that is. Back when Shion's thorns flew out of control, we were able to deal with them directly. If this is their host, they should be even more corporeal here. If that's the case, it should make them easier to attack at least. And if we can manage to divert enough energy away from the spirit's core, even temporarily, we might just be able to weaken it enough to steal the Renis Alma, which we can then use to seal it away forever. It won't be easy, but it's our only shot. Time to buckle up. Another one? Question for you. Let's say, knock on wood, everything turns out for the best. What'll the world be like? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, I mean, at the end of this, do you really think everything will be that different? A lot will have to change, that's for sure. The world will have to adjust to so much. My only worry is if those changes turn out to be merely skin deep. What do you mean? It's well and good putting an end to Renan rule. But if it just turns the tables, Over the it's Danans. all for naught. That's true. Just as bad if the Danans start oppressing their own. Renans, Danans, Astral Art users, mages. The world is full of labels used to divide and separate people. If only we could see differences like that for what they are. No different to someone having a musical talent or being good with their hands. Not differences so much as characteristics. It will take someone in power to set an example. But with time, people will follow. And then, perhaps one day... There will no longer be any need for the example. It will have become second nature. That's where we come in. We can set the example. Imagine it. A world where magic and astral arts are used to help people. Where that's the norm rather than the exception. Yeah, you're right, Rinwell. Why wait for somebody else? We can show them ourselves. Just don't forget people like Deadeye will always exist. <laughs> like, always. What is this? We got three... Oh, two, two teleporters and something going on over there. Clearly this is a teleporter, right? 
Well, whatever's going on. Uh, I don't even think we can teleport. Oh. Oh, I can fast travel out right now. I'll still wait. I, I want I want to go in here. We have a lot to do, but I'm going to save that for next episode. Just doing whatever side quests I can get out of the way. Looks like we've warped into that pit of astral energy. Oh. I wonder what Hilganquil civilization was like at its zenith. I can imagine that'd be something you'd take an interest in. There's no question it must have been advanced, like none either world has ever seen. We could surely stand to learn a thing or two from such a people. I get that you're itching to delve into its history, but we've got bigger fish to fry right now. Put a pin in it, and you can do all the research you want when you retire. I can think of worse things than a retirement dedicated to research. As for whether Rena is amenable to an aging specimen... It's a little early to be giving it serious thought just yet. A man can dream, though. A man can dream. <laughs> oh, we didn't say there's anything wrong with dreaming. In your case, Dohalim, dreams have a habit of spiraling into something else. You'll need to stay with us for now, though. You're too helpful to let retire. Why do I feel this is less of a compliment and more of an ultimatum? Just a friendly suggestion. Oh, another one. Hey! Hey, I just realized something! Is this about dinner last night? I didn't realize those ingredients were off. What? No, I mean... Wait, you fed us rotten food? Rinwell, the point. Hmm? Uh, oh, yeah, right. So I was thinking about those armored soldiers we've seen. There are regular Renans inside them, right? Yeah, they're designed to make whoever's wearing them stronger. At least, I think that's the idea. Right. So it kind of begs the question, then. Why are they made so huge? I don't know. Makes them more intimidating, I guess. Or maybe all that tech wizardry inside takes up a lot of space. You don't think it's weird how the armored soldiers are the exact same height as the Helganquil? Can't say I'd ever noticed it till now. And? Connect the dots, Law! Okay, let me get this straight. You think the armored suits might have originally been designed to allow Renans to work alongside the Helganquil? Huh. But if that's true, what would that mean? It would mean... just that, I guess. But still, don't you think it's kind of interesting? Not... hugely? Hey, Kisara, well, I've got you. What's on tonight's <laughs> menu? Because I was thinking, maybe meat? Get him, Hoodle. Oh, oh, what did I do? Oh, now you want to listen. Keep pecking, Hoodle. Oh, boy. Ow, ow, ow. Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> you deserved it, apparently. Also, that, that, that would be interesting, but also it's not confirmed. It's just her guess based on them making the armor about the Man, same height. I'm famished. I don't, I don't think that's too important here. I keep going to the menu thinking it lowers the, the volume, but it does not. You know, guys, when you think about it, we've taken out a lot of Zoogles. Like, a whole lot. Kind you of. can say that again. If one thing's for certain in this world, it's that wherever we go, we'll always end up bumping into them. Isn't it weird that they're still so plentiful? You don't think the Renans have, like, a ranch where they breed them, do you? Certainly in all of my years, I've never heard of them constructing such a massive facility on Dana let alone up in Lenigus. The only thing I can think of, then, is that the Feral Ones must be reproducing on their own. There's also no organized effort on our part to hunt them down, so it's difficult to fully exterminate them. Okay. Exterminate them? Whoa, don't you think that's maybe a little harsh? What do you mean? Zoogles originally used to be living creatures native to Dana and Rena, right? Being genetically modified isn't their fault. You're right. Zoogles were only created because of us Renans. We altered the original creatures to suit our own ends. First people made Zoogles, and then we let them go. And now we're trying to kill them because they're a threat. They really have only seen the very worst, huh? I hope we find a way to be able to live side by side with them one day. It's a nice uh thought, but they attack towns and cities. What else are we supposed to do? 
aside from the strays that have gone wild, it's worth remembering that Renans are able to keep them somewhat under control. If we had distinct territories that didn't overlap, that might reduce the danger they pose. Well, I guess when you look at it that way, maybe people and Zoogles aren't so different after all. I don't know. I, I forgot they were genetically modified, but they can reproduce? Interesting. I guess it's just because they look more mechanical to me, but... They're not. Helganquil! Guess they don't need their red woman disguises anymore. Wait, can you understand us? Nope. It's no use. We're not going to get through to them. So they really are being controlled. In that case, we've got no choice. Oh, come on. This was a full on boss battle last time I fought three of them. I knew Wait. there was something off here. They're not pulling punches. There's six of them? Okay, they have significantly less health. Good. We have no choice but to beat them at their own game. Ugh. Flaming thrust! The flaming is to be let Red free! Red Red free. Ow. <laughs> oh, oh, I should be trying to dodge that. Three, two, three, four, five. I'll burn it all. Hundred percent that time. Where's my second Mystic Art for everyone? I have yet to get that. Oh, I didn't kill a single one. In a bind. Commander of Heavens. Phoenix Cyclone. There we go. Oh. Commander of Heavens. Phoenix Cyclone. Why do I keep getting Kisara? Okay. Here I go. Who is that? I don't even know who just went. Oh, so when they die, they explode. Are you telling me it actually works when I click Kisara every time? It's always her? Why am I just noticing this now? Hit right. Wow, I, I came to that realization far, far later than I should have. It's Kisara again. I wonder what the method to that is. Alfin. I can't forgive them for what they've done, but I hate killing them. They don't even know why they're fighting. How does that even make them any different from the Danon slaves? Perhaps. However, if we don't make a choice, the guilt of not doing anything will be that much worse. Yeah, I know. I hate for it to be like this. But if it happens again, you won't find me hesitating to act. Mm. I wonder if we're going to get attacked again. If we lose heart now, this whole mission is over. We have Ooh. to stay the course. See, I really wish there was some sort of guide that, that uh, in the help menu that told you how to get specific booster eggs, or if they are entirely random. Uh... Because if I hit down, it seems to always be Kisara with someone. Because Kisara's on my my bottom. Uh, Rinwell was right, and when I hit right, it was Rinwell and Kisara. But that doesn't always happen. Sometimes I hit right, and it turns out to be the two people in the support. So I'm like, I'm a little confused how it actually works. I don't know. There's There's got to be... There's got to be some easy math to it, but it's not explained in game. At uh, I thought fine. there'd be more dirt and rocks and stuff underneath the hollowed ocean, but it's all artificial. I would imagine they're remnants left behind by the Helganquil, seeing as there's little actual land remaining. It's incredible. Do you think it stretches all the way down to the center of the planet? 
Hey, these guys built Lenigus, remember? He probably did this in a weekend. If they had the power to create things like this, did they really only use those immense capabilities to serve the Great Spirit? Or rather, was that the only use the Great Spirit let them use their capabilities for? I don't know. We may never know. We haven't seen anyone here except Helganquil. Looks like this place really is their home planet. The true citizens of Rena. What a shame that they have become nothing more than puppets to the Great Spirit. To think of the promise their accomplishments once held. They had the potential to be great indeed. Do you think we could have got along with them? You know, if we had met under different circumstances. Like... Like all of us, you mean? I suppose it's difficult to say for sure. We don't even know if they would see us as being on an equal level with them or not. I think we may have had the chance once, before the Renan Great Spirit came along and... changed everything. You and Alfin both share an optimism. A strong willingness to believe in hope. <laughs> Do you think that's foolish? On the contrary, I should like to take a leaf from your book myself. In Tragedy's Aftermath, hope is all we have. Hmm. Oh my god. Just look at the size of that thing. The Helganquil's technology certainly is impressive. And they don't seem to do things by halves either. What are they In looking the past at? 300 years. No, oh, even before that. Just how many people, Renan or Danon, do you think have ever seen this? Regarding the past three centuries, <laughs> at least, I'd say there's a good chance that we're the first. Also, while I get that it's impressive and all, I'm just amazed you're still standing around gawping at it at a time like this. Sometimes I wonder about your priorities. I can understand where he's coming from. More to the point, does anyone know where it leads? What do you mean, where it leads? To the center of the planet, of course. And that doesn't strike you as sounding just a little bit, oh, I don't know, far? There has to be a quicker way to get there, right? Yeah. With all this technology at their fingertips, it seems pretty unlikely that they'd make that kind of journey on foot. There must be some kind of device somewhere. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it. Borrow one of their contraptions? You're either brave or out of your mind. If it works for them, there's no reason it wouldn't for us. Why make things harder for ourselves? You know what he's like, Law. Once he gets an idea in his head, there's no talking him out of it. Yeah. I'm assuming they're talking... Oh, yeah, they're just looking at that. Probably. Excuse me? Oh, man. This Livid wolf. Uh, of course, they're weak to light. Man. Did I miss... Alright, put him... There. Stupid fleeting ones. Or fleet-footed. Prepare to be seen on the street of foot. Actually, the height of bound is more appropriate. Let's talk to more duels. And just it's like that, I'm back in. Start by holding the front line. No sooner Take said than done. Alright, right, I'm gonna... Branding Flash? Branding? I'll smash you! Branding Thrust! Now or never. Oh, I hate it when I'm stuck in the air trying to do things, but they fall back down. In this case, they are up there, but... What? In a bind? Ah. Why'd you heal me? To stop you dying? Right. Three. Three. Oh my god. Three. I can't. I can't hit him. Yeah, it wasn't working. I think I should use. I know you guys say that every single fight. Uh, I, I really think I should use all of my ground moves, all four, before I use a lift up. It's very hard to get it. Uh, get get five unique moves. Good to know my training is paying off. Alright, one sec. Alright. 
Got itch, itchy nose syndrome. Really sucks when you when you have itchy nose syndrome in the middle of a battle. <laughs> we have another skit. I wonder how the Renans avoided being mind controlled like the Helganquil. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that they were originally Danans? I'd say it's likely, which is pretty ironic when you think about it. Ironic? The Renans have committed grave injustices against the Danans, but it was all of their own volition, not because they were being controlled. Now, it turns out they themselves were once Danans too. Which must mean that the root of their evil isn't the Great Spirit, but something inherent in all of us. Our free will. Now mm. hang on, though. It was that same free will that allowed Xion and Dohalim to choose to fight alongside us. Without it, we wouldn't have been able to beat hatred and forge all those connections we've made. Free will is what saved us, right? Law's entirely right. In any case, it certainly can't hurt to look on the bright side every now and then. Yeah. Where there's hope, there's a way. <laughs> what do you say? He said, without a doubt. Well, this is the most skits. At, like, we've, we've seen like 15 skits since we've got down on this planet. Uh, and we've walked through two rooms. I can't. I can't move forward Is at this, this a dead end? It appears this whole room functions as an elevator. That apparatus there is likely what's used to control it. Upper level, second floor. What? We don't get to see it go up? What the? What? Where did they come from? <laughs> Let's worry. Wow, that's one way to to cut it. This thing's weak to dark. Interesting. Oh, good. Something's not. I thought everything was just going to be weak to light, and we'd just be screwed here. Concentrate. You know what? I'm going to go for the one that's weak to wind. Toasty. Burn strike. All right, all right. It's, it's clearly how it works. I don't know who it who it's deciding to choose, but like. Because like I I want to bait, I want to bait specific elements. And, and oh no, I have to switch to wind. I want to bait specific elements, uh, like. Shion and Dohalim. What what is that one? Ice, I think. And I, I, I have no way to actually do that. It's it's a little awkward. I can choose Shion and hope that it's Dohalim with her. Nicely done. Huh. All right. See, that had nothing to do with the two people who just used one beforehand, which breaks that theory. Gonna hit Shion again? Oh, hers is ice. Okay. Your movement and I'll stop your life. I think that's as close as you get it. You get to choose one of the people involved. The earth throbs in pain. Can't get out of this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna incineration wave you. Incineration wave. I'll take you all on. Oh. Ha! Flare demolisher. More? This one's mine. Boost strike. What? How is that not a boost strike? Rising Phoenix! You picked the wrong fight! Our boost break. Hammer! More sucles? Keep calm and take them down! If you can't tell, like, pressing down is... is the most common for me. <laughs> so Kisara... Kisara is in most of these boost strikes. Oh, I still plan on training. That's what I like to hear. This ends now. 
Alvin. Consider yourself finished. There you go, Alvin. Marker. It's time to end this, this battle. I'm right beside you. Flame inside me. You're to be let free. Right now, Law, I'll stop your movement. And I'll yeah. stop your life. Illumin more no. okay. I'm actually kind of glad I confirmed that. It's been bugging me for like 80 hours. <laughs> Come on. Make your way. Kisara, commander of heaven. Phoenix Cyclone. More. Ready to make it. There's still more enemies. This is ridiculous. To be let free. Their arms were interrupted. Here you go. Don't let up. Commander of Heaven. Phoenix Cyclone. Where are you guys going again? Nice technique. Sword Rain Alpha. Burning. I'll smash you. If it's in the sky, it's a Do it. Rainbow. Okay, it's it's kind of fun being able to actually. Break those up a little, because I've seen Kisara repeatedly and not even thought about it. Oh, come on, come on. Oh. They're up. This has to be the last one. This has gone on too long. To stop you dying? I'll stop your movement. And I'll stop your life. Perfect. That was a ridiculous <laughs> elevator. Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. I wonder, could they not move Even the map such a at all? Harsh environment is this? There are still creatures here. You think they're native to Rena, or could they be Zoogles somehow? Whatever they are, they're dangerous. Watch yourselves around them. Hmm. Could they not move the map without being in battle here? Because it went black screen and just put us into battle, and then we're just on the next floor. It's a little, a little different. It's okay. It's not a big deal. You think that pit stretches all the way to Rena's core? If that's true. Oh my god. If we go down, we should find the great spirit at the bottom. We could get there even faster if we simply jump down instead. You sound alarmingly serious when you say that. Yeah. 13k. Ooh. That took more energy than I expected. All right, 5k EXP. We need a lot to level up though. This is probably a great place actually. With this, Oof. I can become even stronger. So we can go back into that room or down here. Which way is... Oh, okay. Got it. We're going in here first. We're almost out of CP, too. I'm just looking for, like, the second fast travel unlock. That way... Uh-oh. That, that way, you know, I can go back safely without... I just really want to see what's going on in here first, you know? Impact Man, I mean, I know it's the same model as always, but they, they do get to tougher. Uh, no new moves, nothing like that. Canine vest. Big upgrades. Great. Equipment. Uh, but yeah, they, it's, it's definitely... Uh, they're hitting pretty hard. I'm also 45? 47. Yeah, and the enemies here are 50 to 53, somewhere in there, so they... They're certainly higher level than me. I can only grind so much, though. I don't know if it's because I'm on hard, or what. Ooh, you're... Rending Mantis. Well, it's weak to light. 130k. That's more than, like, half the gigants. What? Just a normal enemy. This one's mine. 
All right, uh, I need oh. La in here. Ooh. Two. I'm just gonna do all the the ground ones. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yep. Get in the air. Do Stardust and Void Flash. Guaranteed. I really. I really wish you could turn down their their voices just for battle. I can't even I can't even hear the BGM. Even if I say nothing and you just hear the game dialogue, you cannot hear the BGM. No matter what. Dodge all. Lightning orb. Oh, no combo. Scarlet Inferno! Did the normal one. You picked the wrong fight. I don't know, I think we're doing pretty good though. It's a uh, jump. Celestial hammer. Now you see what I can do. What? Did it charge after? Nice. Knock him down. Now I'm real mad. Why are you why are you glitched out? I'll crush you! Oh, this is gonna do a lot. Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous claw! He's he's weak to that. That'll bring you down. Dragon Four! Shattering pieces! Attack time! Win I'm surprised things come to an end. He doesn't have a light move. Ow. He doesn't have a light move outside of his... Outside of his, uh, Mystic Art. Ooh, that was a decent amount, too. Flashing Fang! There we go. That's the only time I'll ever show that My fight. My concentration is dwindling. <laughs> Perhaps I'm tired. These structures don't look like anything built by the Renants. Or even what we saw in the Forbidden Zone. Perhaps this is the true architectural style of the Helganquil. Or perhaps the opposite, given their situation. You mean like how some places favor building stuff with stone, while others rely on wood? That's an interesting way of looking at it. I'll have to inquire with Hevrek 35 about it sometime. Hmm. Yeah, what what are they using exactly here? More enemies. I don't have an orange gel. Watch, I'm gonna use this orange gel, and then we're gonna get into a healing light in ten seconds. I bet that next room right there. No, there isn't one. Oh. <laughs> Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Wow, we found some money on here. Is there a merchant? Oh, how dare you! Trying to sneak up Any on me. chance we could make the next time a little bit warmer? Oh, cause I used I used her ice. I see. Um, I need law in here. Kind of important. Does it look like it comes with a thermostat? What the hell? Excuse me. It's not gonna move. Mysterious fragment. Fragment. Uh, and this is an optional direction. Those oh, stones. we're getting jumped. I'm not letting them get in our way. That Holy equipment cloak. should come in handy. Are you serious? Big, big open room with a chest in the middle, and we didn't get jumped. 
Interesting. Decent upgrades. Okay. I guess we're good. Now, we've seen this kind of guy. I'm just gonna fight him. Say no more. Oh man. That Remember thing. To tell me if you need healing. I thing is, you'll be in high demand if that's the case. It's always a, a pain in the ass, but the thing that makes it really bad is the fact that every time it charges, Kisar is not ready. <laughs> I should hold on to it, but uh, it's sometimes it's hard to hold on to it. All right, uh, let's let's skip you. There's a chest over here. We've got to be getting close to some sort of fast travel point, right? Heavy treat. That's great. I like it. Oh, more of them? Yeah, there's a long time without it. Not that I couldn't walk all the way back after. Uh, it's not It's not exactly that far, but... I definitely need an orange gel again. Pro probably two of them. And... Yep, recover all HP. Oh boy. I just... Th this is long. Pixie crystal. i just like to get somewhere... Oh, that's a teleporter. Maybe it'll take us back to the surface. I... Wow. I think I'm getting stronger. Are you? Okay. Are we stepping into? Oh come on, another mantis? Upper level floor one. Oh my god, it just it just keeps going. Wow. This is a big place. <sighs> well, I don't wanna I don't wanna drag this on m too long. Because we still have a whole episode to explore this place and possibly get to the point of no return. So, I gotta think about how I'm gonna do this. Damn. I, I didn't expect it to just, like, go, go this long without, like, anything going on. But we got all the exposition out in the last episode, so that makes sense. Uh, let's see. It is a long walk back, but I do need the experience, so I wouldn't mind having to run back. I think I'm probably going to go out and grab these side quests uh, in the next episode. Get, get what I can done. Get things figured out and settled as far as I can. And then in the following episode, we'll, we'll finish up our navigation of this place. I know it seems a little strange to, to break it up like that, but I can't really think of another way to do it. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, that's that's how I'm gonna do it probably so <sighs> this place this place is interesting it's got a lot of tough enemies and I'm going through CP like crazy which is why I feel like side quests are a good idea because uh, it'll it'll help me level up get some SP and CP from the gigan fights so that I can make it through here a little bit easier maybe I don't know but thanks for watching let me know if you like it and I will see you in the next one